has changed her mind and won't go on. Oh, where's her dressing room? I'll talk to her. Uh, right this way, Mrs. Burns. Come on, Blanche. Isn't this awful? And after all my work, it's tragic. That's what it is. Come in. How do you do? I'm Ronnie's mother, and I'd like to talk to you, Diane. I think I know why you're here, Mrs. Burns. I can save you a lot of trouble. I'm not going on. But why not? Because this is a comedy, and I'm a dramatic actress. You wouldn't understand. You're a comedian yourself. Well, you're right. Uh, that's why I brought my friend Blanche Morton, the famous dramatic actress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's me. Blanche Morton? I've never heard of her. Well, that's what happens to dramatic actresses. Nobody ever hears of them, right? Right. I see. Uh, Blanche, uh, tell her how you ruined your career. Well, I, uh... I, uh, oh, she uh, breaks down every time she thinks of it. Right. Right. <laughs> Tell me, how did she ruin her career? Well, she, uh, she turned down a comedy part, and uh, they gave it to Lynn Fontaine instead. Lynn Fontaine? Alfred Lunt's wife? Yes, and they gave Mr. Lunt to her, too. And Blanche could have had both. Right. Right. <laughs> ridiculous act of getting you nowhere. I'm not going on. Five minutes. Gracie, let me handle this. Uh, uh, just a minute, Blanche. Did you hear the man say five minutes? Do you know what that means in the theater? It means if you're able to hear it, you're going on. And if you don't, then you're in the wrong business because you have no courage. Uh, to be a dramatic actress, you have to have courage. To be a comedian, you've got to have courage. To be a singer or a dancer, you've got to have courage. When an audience is waiting for you, you don't disappoint them. Now get up. Yes, Mrs. Burns. Now fix your lips. Now get out there and give a performance. Yes, Mrs. Burns. <laughs> Gracie, I didn't know you had it in you. Well, well neither did I. <laughs> right? 